Hey everybody, it's Pluto and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. And now that we've explored a little bit more of the early area, I'm going to explore just a little bit more quickly, since there are a few things we can reach now that we are able to jump into the sky. And by into the sky, I mean over a small fence. Because that's basically all we can jump over, but there's a gimmickle right here apparently. So let's grab that, get two coins. There's also an item up there which I cannot reach no matter what I try probably or maybe maybe oh it's so close sometimes you can kind of drag on the the ground it might be possible to get up but it's difficult to say just mash the button please nope I should probably jump from somewhere else if I am going to jump up but anyway let's grab this item down here I thought we should probably explore this area since we only came here once and left pretty much immediately after the first battle. Doesn't seem to be a lot so far. But I'm sure if I keep listening, there might be more stuff to find. There's also this path down here. Which is interesting. Grab that. It is nice being able to go faster around the world. I can kind of hear something, I think. Not right here, but, you know, it's fine. Up, oh, please. Thank you. Because I think I heard a gimme ghoul, but I'm not sure. That's basically the way you want to find them, so... Just by listening for them. Any gimme ghouls? No? Okay. <laughs> cool. That's all I need to know. i try jumping up onto this, if I can, maybe. I can kind of jump onto it. Except not really anymore. Please up. Please up. Nope. It was so close. <laughs> I'm just kind of flying around the edges of stuff. It seems like I'm not going to be able to get that for a while. It's fine. Anyway, I think this might also be something over here. Let's grab that. I'm in... I'm in the... I'm in the... I'm in the... I'm in the, I'm in the garden. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Maybe I didn't hear a gimme go, I'm just crazy. That would make sense. Also, there's an item here that I never picked up. An antidote. And that's probably all I can get here for now, so I'm gonna leave. Go somewhere else entirely. So... Let's just... So what's that? Is that just an unknown Pokemon, probably? Let's head back to the Poke Pokemon Center that we left last time. Try to continue on to the whatever we need to do next. I just need to make sure I'm not gonna die. Before I should heal. And also, I don't remember how many Pokemon I need to actually, or Pokemon trainers I need to fight. So I might check that as well. Thank you. How many do I need to fight? How many more is that? Four trainers need six. I need two more. Okay. Well, so what Pokemon do I have in the lead currently? Poor me. Okay. That can probably work. Just need to send you out to battles. I think I've already caught one of you. Probably should uh, check. Also, I didn't see what that was. I think it was a. Uh... Oh, it's a Pokedoll. A... Yeah, it's it says on the side of the screen. Calm down. You can just skip that though. Mud slap. Cool. Slap the mud. Hyper Potion heals 120 HP. That's a good item to randomly find. Cool. Uh, but anyway, I see a few things up ahead, which look interesting. I saw a ruin somewhere. I think it was down there. But there's also... Oh, Pommy, you really failed already. Maybe I should send out my strongest Pokemon, and that way I can level up faster, question mark? Because it'll go through things, and it'll get all my Pokemon XP, so... I mean, that makes more sense, so... But it's also a tower over there, which means we can probably get another Gimme Ghoul fight done, because that way we can get more stuff. Also, we're not doing good in battles right now. It's not a good thing. Uh, can I possibly... Picnic? I need to stop riding my Pokemon. Picnic. Not on a slope. Okay. 
That's fine. Let me... I'll just ignore that then. Ignore everything here. I'd like to fight that trainer, though, is the thing. I guess the alternative thing I can do is actually use items to heal my Pokemon. I mean, it can't be that hard to just do that. Use an item. I feel like that's a good one to just have, actually. The... The fresh water or whatever it was I just had. Uh, I have Pokemon surrounding me. Do I have anything that's gonna... Yeah, have regular potion. To restore 20. I kind of feel like there's a better way of doing this than just having to ask yes or no, but I guess it's being sure that you're not just using items when you don't want to. Thank you. Actually winning some of these fights, which is good. Go fight more. Might head down while that's happening. I know I want to get my poor me walking around. But it's easier said than done. Also, hello. Give me a coin. See if we can find a few more. Maybe. There were so many around that other one. Oh, there's one. The other ruin, that is. So there should be a few around here, probably. But I'm not entirely sure. What's, what's, what's this thing? Uh, I think that's a Magikarp, which I don't think we've fought any of those yet. So let's challenge. Also, what type is this? I didn't check, and we're into it now. I think it's a dark type. If I had to guess. But I don't know if that... I can do anything about that. I don't know what's effective against dark. <laughs> Look at him. He's glorious. Especially in the background. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just the way his eyes look. Oh my goodness. But <laughs> it's beautiful. Better console, but it's a Magikarp. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. Uh, let's use Amber because that's my strongest move. Probably. Also, this has no attacks, I think. It just knows... Splash, possibly. We might be able to just take this out easily. Because Magikarp can only learn Splash. Which makes it a bit weird. But luckily because we can just level, like give our Pokemon XP by doing nothing with them. In this gen, we can just level them up without having to use them in battle. But in previous gen generations, you had to fight with, or have it, have it out for at least one turn in a fight to give it XP. Anyway, let's catch that. Is there a way to skip this? I know it's, it's a cool animation, but can I skip it? Not really. It's fine. Two star magic cop, though. A magic cop is normally a water type, sir. Is that another Gimme Ghoul I see? I think so. I wonder if they respawn. Probably. I would imagine they'd have to, so you can make sure you can keep getting more Gimme Ghoul coins, because you, if you... If you can only get 999 once, then... You can only get one level of one Gimme Ghoul per playthrough. Also, yes, they do respawn. So, if you see a... Terror Raid battle next to a... What's it called? Um... A Ruin, where there are Gimme Ghoul. Just do it, just so you can reload the area. Also, why aren't you fighting? Fight it! I come on to the... It's well worth just grinding for Gimme Ghoul coins. Fight the Pokémon. I want the item that's on the ground. Oh, I think you got it, actually. Yeah, you did, I think. It's hard to tell. Uh, but anyway, let's go fight this trainer, probably. It's all about balance. I've got a Pokemon of a bunch of different types, so we can have a well-balanced battle. Well-balanced, you say? Clara the student. 
Okay, hop hip. That's a good first choice. <laughs> That's a good first choice for me. Use Ember because it's super effective. You have three Pokemon. Interesting. Let's see what's next. What's next is... Barboach. So I think that's a water type, probably. I might be wrong, but it's okay. Just gonna send out Skiploom. See how this goes. I think we've also caught a Barboach, possibly. Yeah, so we do- we should- we should know what this is. Just have to wait for all these animations. Skiploom became confused. I'm guessing the last type is gonna be... Fire-type then. Probably? Oh, I'm confused. That's a shame. And now it's resting to heal itself. Please. Please. I complimented this game on how quick its battles were at the very beginning, but right now I'm... I'm just waiting. Barbo just fast asleep. Gonna keep healing, maybe? Actually, I don't think it can heal more than once. Skip Bloom snapped out of confusion, thank you. It's super effective. So land it. I don't know what that is. Let me see how this goes. Interesting. Let's use... Which one's stronger? Bubble Beam. It's super effective. Use Poison Fang. Wasn't poison though, that's Quick Attack. Just to finish it off. And there we go. Thank you for your money. And also XP that we get from this. Ah, now I'm off balance. And also the the, the the money. That's a lot of money. Wow. Also, Pommy, Pommy has uh, walked enough, so it's evolving now. Because it needs to um, walk like a hundred steps or something like that out in the field. But then needs to level up to evolve. It, w it won't just randomly evolve if you're walking it around, so... Involved, evolved into Pomo. Electric fighting. I didn't actually realize that it would have two types. That's good. I've got fighting on my team now. That might actually be a good one to keep around. Must learn arm fr thrust. Let's forget a move, probably. It's a fighting type move, so... What does it want to get rid of? Wants to forget charge? Well, if you say so. I wasn't re really using it, so... I wasn't sure if I would use it. Now, let's have a picnic quickly. Can't picnic close to this trainer, though. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I want a picnic, though, because I want to try making another sandwich. I don't know what's active right now, but... If, if, if anything's active at all... I really don't know how to tell. Which is a shame. I feel like I should know. Maybe it just keeps stacking. I don't. I don't think it does. But if it if it does, that'd be most excellent. Uh, can I possibly picnic here? Not that one. Back, back, back. Why can't I back out? It's fine. Picnic. Okay. There's all of my Pokemons. Now, let me see. Make a sandwich. 
Can I use a recipe? I probably can. Also, I think I did the only one that I can currently do, so... Creative mode? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But I think I can. I don't have any of the things I was thinking I might have, but it's okay. Grab those. I don't have any sauce. Maybe I should just back out. It's fine. So I'll just pack that up then. I thought I'd try and try something different, but I haven't bought any ingredients. So that's not going to work. So I want to fight this trainer since they're all the way out here. I'm going to scare him so bad. Who are you going to scare? Suddenly from the bushes. Boo! Ha! Huh, bet you never saw that coming. That would be a lot more effective if you could just like initiate the battle on your own and not have me having to talk to you to start the battle. But anyway, Benjamin the student. It's weird because in previous Pokemon games I played, when the Pokemon trainer sees you, they just battle you. You don't have to just go up and talk to them. So basically every trainer is optional. Which when you can beat them like this is uh, a, a fairly good reason. Gonna send out Bonsley. Gonna keep battling for now. Actually, I probably should have switched. I forgot what type that was. Gonna bite. We're over leveled enough to make this work. Use block. Can no longer escape. Which is a trainer battle, so I can't escape anyway. So it's an interesting choice. And of course, the type it is is effective against fire. But there we go. There are a few settings for this game I'd like to change, but can't. I lost? I didn't see that coming at all. Thank you for your little bit of money that you gave me. It will be treasured for about... I don't know, actually. It could last forever if you think about it. Because you never know what money you're pulling out of your pocket when you pull it out of your pocket. It could be any money in the game. You could keep those five dollars forever. Also, keep battling. I think you're getting low. But I think the next stop is coming up somewhat. I mean, I didn't know that, but now I do, I think. There's, oh, there's actually a picnic table right there. Cool. Let me go heal my Pokemon then. This spot is about halfway between Mezagoza and Artisan. I'm gonna make a nice sandwich. Then I'll be all. Then I'll be all refueled and ready to for for more adventuring. Here, you have some ingredients so you can get refueled too. Got some pickle and ham. And, uh, and some mayonnaise and mustard, apparently. I thought I didn't- oh, maybe it was just different screens for the ingredients, probably. Totally unrelated, but I heard there's a cliff face he near here that moves. Wonder if that's true. You should take a breather here and get ready so you don't get too surprised by any moving walls. Thank you. Both people and Pokemon need to refuel sometimes. Come back if you're low on energy. Okay. I guess I'll head up this way then. It was incredible! There was! That rock wall! There was a... Uh, that Pokemon! Incredible! You know? No, I don't know. Tell me in more detail. Laura the Artist. on. Okay. Well, this should be quick work then. Especially because it's level 12. I'm 10 levels above it. Well, there we go. Good battle. Come on. Yes, there we go. I think losing to you has calmed me down. Nice. Well, let's go up to this tower then. See what's up here. Also, I wonder how much my Pokemon can keep battling while I'm climbing, because it's technically I'm not getting further away. Technically? Depends on how you figure it out, I don't know. 
I also got a heal ball, that's pretty good. I don't think there's any other gimme ghoul on these towers, so I think it's just the one at the top. So let's go get that. I'm just gonna fight it probably. So. Just gonna beat it up. Metronome. Also, can I just like. Probably not. Have to actually initiate the battle by walking up to it. Ah, uh, okay, let's just use Amber. Actually, no, Dark was actually super effective by the looks of it. I should have done that, but it's fine. It worked anyway. 60 gimmickle coins. Nice. Let me jump off the edge here so I don't have to climb around. Gonna grab this item while I'm here as well. Now, do I have Growlithe? That is another question that I have. I guess I could f start a battle to find out. Caught the Growlithe off guard. I do not have a Growlithe. Okay. Ah, uh, well, let's use Ember because that's not going to be very effective against it. So hopefully that won't kill it. Ah, uh, I don't think it does anything, possibly. Ah, uh, Tackle. Please don't kill it, please don't kill it, please don't kill it, thank you. Growlithe used Howl. It's Attack Rose. Just going to throw a Pokeball at it. And nice. Another fire type. Growlithe's a pretty good one, so. Especially if you evolve it with a firestone. Just gonna send it to the boxes for now though, so. There we go. Now what do I want to do? I could go down to the depths there. This terrain is very interesting. Like, very interesting. I don't know how to explore all of this. <laughs> to be honest. Maybe I don't. Don't explore it. Also, that's a cool city. Also, what is that thing? Why is it so huge? It's massive. Huge, even. Humongous. Also, that's the... That's the Pokemon thing for the main quest. So, um, how do I... How, how, how do I? Also, I feel like there's a good thing that's going to happen if I actually do this right now, so I'm going to do this. I just have a feeling that this is going to unlock uh, better terrain movement stuff. Hello. <laughs> Funny seeing you here. Clawth the Stony Cliff Titan. Uh, I don't have... Okay. Gonna use Bite to start off the fight. It's the only thing that's effective. Nice. Vice Grip. I don't know what level this is. Also, do I need to catch this? That's my other question. Can I even catch it? I don't know. Anger Shell. All of its stuff is rising. Everything. Oh, it's defense fell though. Which is interesting. And special defense. Just its attack and speed. Also, no, I cannot catch it. There's no option for it. I can no longer escape. It's almost there though. Oh, and there it goes. I was wondering if I would have to fight it in multiple parts. Because it did seem a bit too easy. That to make it harder by adding artificial difficulty. Grab that. Please. I'm on top of it. Please. Please. I didn't mean to press that one. Please. Please grab. Why can't I grab it? Also, apparently this is a thing. Okay. I really can't grab that, apparently. Okay, then. I, I guess it wants me to complete the quest I'm currently at doing. Oh, 
Hello, I'm inside you. Oh, I'm dead. It's too much to look at. The Titan Cloth began eating something. Jeremy, you found it! And that! That thing's the shiny Star Cliffs Titan. No cloth has got any business being that big. Is it gonna be even stronger now after eating those herbs? Let's watch ourselves, Jeremy. Oh my goodness. That's cool. This is cool. Ah, uh, I should have switched Pokemon. At least we have an ally for this. Well, this is looking a little rough. Sheldo, let's serve up helping of defeat on the half, half shell. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely stronger now. Sheldo use Water Gun. It's definitely going to be stronger. Might be worth switching Pokemon. Make sure I don't lose my starter Pokemon, because um, if it goes down, it won't get any XP from this. Which I probably want the XP, so... Go Suskit. Although it might be weak to a rock move if it hits me. So I might be in trouble, maybe. It's a bit of a... a upside and downside to using this Pokemon. I guess. Bubble Beam. It's super effective. Anger Shell. That's its ability. Guess that means when it's low in health, it gets more attack. Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I was worried about. Now, what am I what do I want to do for this? I don't know. We have a lot of different types here, actually. The only one that doesn't have a dual type is my starter Pokemon, which is, uh... Not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's okay. Let me try this, maybe. I don't think Electric is effective against Rock, but I think maybe Fighting might be effective against it. Maybe. I'm also gonna try using a... Where is it? Just a regular revive on my Surskit, so that it gets some XP, hopefully. Rock Tomb. There goes the Shelter ally. Please don't kill me. It's fine. Oh, also, Grad is effective as well, so... And I was right about that. And apparently, Electric is effective against Rock, but not super effective. Let's use Dig, because then I'll be in the ground. Thank you. Nice. Pomo Speed fell. But he used Dig. There it goes. Pomo avoided the attack because it's underground. Use Dig. There we go. It's super effective. Didn't even use our Terra type for any of our Pokemon. You defeated the Titan Cloth. Pomo has to learn Bite. That's interesting. What moves do we have? I. Mm. What's the recommendation? Doesn't. Wouldn't mind skipping over learning Bite. Interesting. I kind of want to get rid of Nuzzle for this, actually. Then we have four types of moves for this, which would be interesting. Because Nuzzle will inflict paralysis, but also sandwich Thundershock, and Nuzzle is a physical type move, so, or, or physical move, so, I think I'm going to do this. All right, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. But these Titan Pokemon are, yeesh, 
I sure don't like having something to so tough to out to get me. I bet somewhere in here there's more of that Herba Mister Mystica the Titan was eaten eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. Seems like there's more. <laughs> a fair bit more. Watch your step, it's pretty dark. No way! This is one of the Herba Mysti Mystica. It's exactly how it looked in the book. You and Arvin found the sweet Herba Mystica. Miska, I don't know. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I don't know. Yes, we actually found one, and it's all thanks to you, Jeremy. Now then, let's see, what does the book have to say? It says here that the Sweep Herba Mystica is good for gut health, and that helps it helps aid digestion. It says it's great for stomach aches too, or when you want to stimulate the old appetite. Now, if I can just get him to eat some. All right, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Yeah! Yeah! Whatcha! Yeah! Here you go! An Arvin original sandwich packed full of herbs. And I'll even give you a badge. You know, as a thank you for taking on that Titan... Uh, titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan badge. Made it myself using a replica of the gym badges, see? Well, there we go. Sandwich is power. Ah, what's up with that thing? It just comes out of its ball on its, uh, on its own whenever it wants. Hey now, no, that's not for you. Do you want to give the sandwich to Karadon? Yes, I do. Hey, I went through all the trouble of making that for you, and you just give it away? I hope you realize that's all there was, so now there's none left for you. That's totally fine. <laughs> he looks so upset. Oh, come on. You Now you're making me feel like a, I'm a selfish jerk here. Here, you can have half of mine, but you better save every last bite. Huh? You already ate the whole thing? Crichton will be able to dash now. What? Hey, it's... Is it me or has this thing sort of powered up somehow? Whoa, I can't believe it. The power of these herbs really is worth guarding. If they had that big an effect on your Pokemon, then I bet... Uh, I bet it'll, it'll come in super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yep, that's what I bet. I bet you're right. Well, you've both filled your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy everything up. Oh, don't you worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you've earned a break. Just leave all this to me. Though, I'd be much obliged. If you get, you'd get a start on searching out the uh, remaining four Herba Mysti Mystica for us. I'm on it. I really owe you. Okay, the coast is clear. You can come out now.
Cool. Sandwich. Are you calling me from out in- No, okay. Hello, Jeremy, this is Sada. I detect that Coridon has regained some of its original power. It seems it will now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. Now you can have Coridon dash ahead by pressing the left stick, but watch out for trees. When dashing at high speeds, if you strike a tree while dashing, per Pokemon lurking up among the branches will fall down, allowing you to battle them. I hope you will continue to explore Paldia with Coridon, as you have done here. Your route is not fixed, up, but uh, uh, open before you. Seek out your own path, using the, your map and the tools you have at hand. Whenever you have find your curiosity peaked, you should go and explore as your heart desires. All that you experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go forth on your journey and take care, good care of Crichton for me. Cool. Anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.